Hey guys, it's me the cool loser and in today's video I'm going to show you how to get games and applications running on other devices that they're not supposed to be supported. As you see right here on the left side on my Nexus 7, it says your device isn't compatible with this version. So you can't download this game onto your tablet, but you can play it on your phone, which is my Galaxy Nexus, and you see I can open or uninstall so it's installable from there and playable. So the thing is that how do you get this game to be able to play on here. A lot of people are probably saying just get the APK and work it and do it. That is true. But let's say you want to transfer your data as well. And I'm sure doing the APK findings aren't the best, but this is the safest and easiest way. Of course, given the fact that you are rooted, you can't do this if you're not rooted. If you do not know what rooting is or means, then you're gonna have to go educate yourself on it before you can really go on with uh, proceeding with this type of thing. This is the tools that I use right here. We use Titanium Backup and I use Google Drive. I'm going to go in here and you see that the game is actually going to be in here. Click on here. There's the games. You're not supposed to be running this game on there like I said, but I got it working. So what I do is open up Titanium Backup and I go to my Backup and Restore and you will see that there's the hardest game ever. Click into it, press Backup and it'll do a backup right there simply. Now if you do have the paid version or somehow being able to go into your computer and taking this titanium backup file and transferring it to your computer or put it on your drive, uh, I just hold down on it because I got the paid version. And you can see send ladies backup. What do you want to transfer? App and data, data only, and then separate files and then data only. So I want to do app and data. And it's actually 15.6 megabytes big. And then you have a choice to send it to local, drive, email, or Gmail. And I send it to my drive. So drive will open up. And I can choose what file folder where I want to put it at. And I have it already done and saved. So I'm not going to do it again because I already have it saved up. And on your device here, which is not working, you want to click on your drive. This is where we'll come to. See the games here. This is the way I sync my devices if I want to play games here and transfer it to here or vice versa. Or, you know, play games that are not supposed to work on a tablet. So this is the whole point of this. There's two of them right here made. And all I got to do simply is click on it. And if you have titanium backup, I mean, you, you do have to have titanium backup on this device in order for it to work and it will launch it and work it through here. Search for an application that I know does not work for this tablet. Photo Punch. Let's go to Apps. Let's go into Photo Punch in here. And you see Photo Punch does come up right there. Not in the tablet because it's not available so it's not going to show you something that you don't want to know that it's not, you know, working for your phone or tablet, whatever the case is going to be. So open up Photo Punch. Let's go install. Press accept. So here we have Photo Punch. Let's launch it. As you see, it works there and we'll be able to function it. No Photo Punch on the left side. So what I'm going to do now is open up Titanium Backup. You might find other ways to do it. But this is just the way I do it, and I know it works, so that's why I'm teaching you this way. And I'm going to do a backup, and it backed it all up, and I want to do a send ladies backup. Yes, I want to do it to the Google Drive here. Choose your folders if you want a separate folder, or leave it on the, the drive section. Let's select back, and let's type in, and here I'm just going to name it subscribe. Press OK. And you see up here, uploading the files. You can press back and all. And I can exit it here and open it up. And you'll see nothing's happening there yet because it's still uploading. One file uploaded. Nothing shows up. But let's sync it. Right there. Open it up. Titanium Backup will do its thing. There it goes. Now it's downloading. Titanium Backup Pro. App plus data, so it's going to make exact copy as what I had here onto my tablet. And let's go into the home. It's not going to show up in here. It's just going to be in your your app drawer right here. So where is it? Photo punch. Now I can open it. And there we go. I don't know why they stop you from using it. If it's clearly working fine, I have never had a problem with it. 
and photo punches it's gonna work flawlessly but that's how you'll sometimes see applications on my tablet and games that you're like hey it doesn't work for mine how come and yours it does this is why because i transfer them over just like that i didn't give you the best examples of games and applications to transfer but you get the whole idea is this is how you do it if it works on the tablet and it doesn't work on the phone Get it working on your phone, doing it the same way, the other way. Just uh, upload it to your drive. I mean, you don't have to use drive. You can use whatever cloud service you would like, or you could save it onto a USB stick and put it on your computer and transfer files onto here. However you want to do it, just as long as that file gets to open through Titanium Backup, it'll install and work on each other devices like that. So that's how you get application and games running on devices that are not supposed to. My way, the cool loser way. All right, please share, rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to spread the word of the cool loser. As always, I shall see you next time for some of the cool reviews. Later.